You're still watching Ways. Now, today is Good Friday. On this day, Jesus Christ died on the cross. He died for us, but not, um, he didn't only die in the human form. Um, he then rose again from the dead on Easter Sunday morning to show us that there is life after death in heaven. Now, Good Friday, also called Dark Friday, is a day of solemn prayers and the final day of fasting for the long lengthened season. Yeah. Are you Catholic? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> because we I'm, don't observe Lent in my church. We don't actually too. I'm so not I really a Catholic. Do not remember that part. Yeah, for Good Friday, right? Yeah, but I think it's time. I, I mean, this is the this Good Friday. I think if you haven't done it already, this will be a really good time to pray to for the world. And reflect. Yes, we need prayers at this point with everything that is going on globally. I mean, nobody has seen this before, so. Happy Good Friday to everyone out there. Sadly, you, it's, a, do, do it's a sober you know, one. I, I think it's a good one that it coincided with Easter, um, um, Easter period because of the resurrection. I know by the time it's Sunday, Things the resurrect. resurrection in, <laughs> in the name of Jesus will abate all this. Abi, oh, amen. Yeah. I tap into you. <laughs> all right. So, um... Before we go into what's in the news, I think we have Shemu Ehima, one of our viewers on Skype. Shemu, are you there? Hi! Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? Well, Shemu is joining us live from Tennessee, United States of America. Thank you so much, Shemu, for joining us. You're welcome. Uh, uh, so how are you doing? How is the U.S.? What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, we are home. We are practicing social distancing, you know. We can't go out, but it's not like total lockdown, though. But we go, we go out just to pick, you know, the important stuff. But we are home all day with the kids. Awesome. So you are a clinical research associate. So how has this um, lockdown, has it affected your work? Yeah, uh, I a little bit because you know it's on my workload. It's a little bit slow because I have to take care, attend to the children at home and couple with their schoolwork. They are sending them a lot of work. They want them to be busy at home. So I'm working. I'm also being a school teacher and also you know being being a mom. So it's we are coping though, but it's been challenging. Okay, um, Sheung, do you see this situation, I mean the pandemic, do you see it abating anytime soon in the United States? Do I see it one? Do you think, do you see this abating anytime soon in the United States? I don't think so because, you know, this um, COVID-19, it's, I know there are, some people are getting, are getting recovered, but, you know, once people go out, they, once they, get in contact with the people infected, they get infected again. So I think it's going to take a long while because until they have a vaccine for it before that my opinion though because even though you get killed, you see when you still go out, get in contact with the virus, you still get contact it. So awesome. So finally what are you doing for the Easter period? How are you celebrating Easter? Yeah, we're going to be home with the kids, mm. just cooking, you know, just join our online, do some video call, call our watching families, ways. you know, attend, attend church online and all that. Awesome. Mm. All right. Thank you so much. And keep watching ways. We'll keep in touch. Thank, thank all you. Right. All right. Bye, Shum. <laughs> thank you. All right. So, Lami, what did you find for us in the news? Okay. Can you believe? Because when I woke up this morning to the news, I thought it was impossible. It was unbelievable that quite a number of states are relaxing the restriction laws just because of their um, of their um, Easter um, holiday. Holiday. While I quite understand that um, it's sad that I can't be in church on Sunday, and I really love to go to church. And guess what? I've even made my Easter clothes about a month ago. Okay. <laughs> so I really want to go to church. Wow. Well. This is a public health 
crisis that is not showing any signs of abating soon. So why are we relaxing the laws? And was there any impact what assessment? States, what states is specific? Quite a number of them. I think Castina, uh, Castina Ondo State, um, I think Cross River, quite a number of the states. And I think that is quite distasteful. And uh, I th what I think the government should do, the federal government should do, is by the powers of the um, Quarantine Act, the president can overrule the state governors and impose the strict um, lockdown. So they can count out, they, if, the, if the federal government wants to counter it, they can counter it. They can counter it? Yes. Awesome. Mm. All right, so we'll leave it there. So my story is, is quick and simple. The Lagos State Government have announced through the Commissioner for Health, that's Professor Akia Bayomi, that Lagos State has commenced the house-to-house -house case identification, um, identi identification to detect um, possible cases of the COVID-19 in the state. Um, so they are going door to door. I just want to know how the modalities, a few questions I have, some gray areas, have. because especially in Lagos where bandits, I mean, you, you, you can never outro how people will go and wear the COVID t-shirt and go and rob people and all of mm. that. So the modalities... Okay, yeah, are, even seeing from the security yeah, angle. Yeah, security angle. I'm not even seeing from the security angle. How do they really want to penetrate? Because quite a number of people live in all this, you know, shanties and all that. And quite a number of li people live there. So how do they hope to achieve headcount? I, I really do not understand. Well, we, we, we are hoping that they know what they're doing. So hopefully that um, this would... Because they are trying to see how they can clean out a lot of things. So I think it's also designated areas, you know, well, based well, on the existing cases that well, they the have. But the pizza I have for Lagos State is Lagos State is quite doing a, is doing quite a number of, you know, taking a number of steps. But we're talking about this states that are relaxing their laws. They can also infiltrate Lagos mm -hmm. and just make all the efforts wasted. Wasted. So, wasted, so I, I really pity Lagos State. So hopefully, I hope that they will be able to fine tune it because I'm more concerned about the security angle mm, to, to, to angle. this. I'm, I'm very concerned about the security angle to this. I was said earlier on, we're talking SMEs today, the impact of the COVID-19 on SMEs. And we have Adele Sakwe join us via Skype and Reginald Bassi will be with us in studio, but right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 